it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And it's quite hefty and the tube is sticking out of it. I have wanted to try this item for a very long time. It is a vacuum, a strange vacuum. It is called Pickup bricks because it's a lego vacuum not only supposedly can you suck up legos but also other mini items like mini brands or maybe like mini figures this seems pretty easy pretty simple i don't know how it couldn't work but when i see things like this i definitely want to try them and there is a part of me that just imagines like after i'm done doing a mini brands unboxing or something just suck them up i did already like unbox this just because for a moment i sincerely thought maybe it had a battery i was gonna have to charge up I don't think that that would ever work. I'm pretty sure vacuum cleaners, they take too much energy. You know, it's like a hair dryer. I did one time, well, I still do have it. It just doesn't work that well. A battery operated hair dryer. I really thought it was gonna be life changing for me. Like I was just gonna be able to like go into a grocery store or something with a hair dryer going. I don't feel like I would ever really do that. Maybe back when like Walmart was open 24 hours a day. Can you imagine encountering me in a Walmart in my pajamas 4 a.m. wandering the aisles with a hairdryer going? You unclasp these two green things and you lift off the lid. And then this is part of what makes it so easy is, you know, you just vacuum everything up and then you just like lift out this little compartment. I got this um so i'm just assuming you know you can suck them all up take this thing out and then just dump it in the container you're good to go so let's open up the legos it honestly does not feel like there's a lot of legos in here am i about to be disappointed supposed to be 400, 480, 484. What a weird number, by the way. Let's open up a couple of these minifigures. I kind of wish the Lego set like came with like one Lego guy. I feel like minifigures have kind of always been my favorite part of Legos. And you guys, okay, here's the thing too. I saw some debate recently of people saying there is no Legos. The plural of Lego is also Lego. I feel like I will always say Legos if I'm talking about an abundance of Lego. Um, anyway, I have had these minifigures. I do not even know how long. Oh, here's the receipt. 2016. You can't tear them open. It specifically says slice with scissors. Good thing I have a pair right here. I kind of miss not being able to like tear them open. We're gonna... That's why they don't want you to tear them open. We got Buzz Lightyear. We'll find his wings later. Slicing. I'm about to unbox Swamp Family Mail, like literally today. <gasps> Ooh, this is so cute. It's Mickey Mouse. Look at his head. Oh, I put his elbow on backwards. Oh, was that a Mickey Mouse voice? I would like the Cheshire Cat. Look at that. He has a tail. I feel like a lot of times now my unboxings are so much better when I do them like up close ASMR style because I feel like you guys can't see anything that's going on. I'm just like relating to you like a sports broadcaster. What I'm seeing down here. So cute. It is nine in the morning and I feel like I need coffee. I feel like I don't have enough energy yet today to do all the things that I hope and dream to accomplish. I'm thinking today I may take my very first journey to Spirit Halloween. Oh, we got Peter Pan and Peter Pan has two swords. Is that really necessary, Peter? Oh my God, Peter Pan does have two swords in each hand. Look at that. 
Really? And Captain Hook is the villain? Peter Pan has always been one of my favorites. Nobody cries in Peter Pan. Nobody dies in Peter Pan. It's a wonderful story. Ready to, you know, battle pirates. Why is the camera zoomed in so much? I just dumped them out all over the floor. There's something I really like. I like that kind of energy, you know, just dumping Legos out everywhere. Guys, I kind of feel like I want to put y'all in the vacuum with like a GoPro so y'all can see like the essence of what it would feel like to be a Lego mini figure being sucked up by a vacuum. Let's do that. And then if all goes well here, I think I'm going to dump some mini brands out and we'll try and suck those up and see if that works. Y'all are quite precariously balanced everywhere. I've got a, a vacuum angle. Do I? Yes. Okay. I'm like trying to learn how to film on my phone with the Apple Watch. We're trying many new things today. How loud is this going to be? Let's find out. Relatively quiet. Let's do this. Oh, oh Peter Pan. Oh, Peter Pan. Look at that. Now he's in there. Okay, look at that. you guys we've got a jam what got stuck oh <gasps> can y'all see that that thing got stuck in there how do you get it unstuck it seems like it would fit but it's like oh there there we go okay Whew. at least it seems like relatively easy to clear jams but look at that we have so Okay, they also just fall out of the end if you do that. That's probably obvious to most people. Um, to me, not so obvious. Okay, definitely if you dump it at all, uh, Legos start to fall out of the end. But look at that. I was able to pretty much suck up all 500 Legos. The minifigures did really good. Everybody else got sucked up really easy, except for Peter Pan and his two knives. Right now, our little inner gray bucket is super jammed with Legos. So are some of them gonna spill when I open the top here? Maybe. But honestly, it's so fun to clean them up this way. And it's so like quick and easy to clean them up this way that I feel like even when they start to spill out, a little bit like literally who cares just pick up like two spare legos or turn the machine back on and it's like it's fun i don't know you guys why is this so fun to me only other problem is obviously if you have these larger pieces in there this one did get sucked up but it did get stuck but then again i feel like there was a yellow one in there that was just as large and it was able to get sucked up obviously this is going to be way too large to go through the little vacuum hose let's see if they're gonna spill out or not so let's lift the top lid so far so good now the only bad thing is obviously it does work like a vacuum and i shed little hairs all the time so now i do have a little bit of um hairy legos um but look i mean none of them spilled out and also look at this i literally did not know until now that you can also remove this green tray. I swear, like, I've just seen so many Lego related videos lately. They call this the glitter <laughs> left on the Legos, like the little pieces of dust, dirt, whatever. So this also looks like you can totally obviously take it out and like wipe this down or wash it as well. I've tried to get a bunch of different shots for you guys, including a shot where I put y'all in the vacuum. I thought that that would be really fun to just show you guys what it felt like to be a Lego being sucked up by a vacuum. I've done this and like dumped it out about three times now. And every time I use it, I don't know if it's just getting easier or something, but I actually had great success even sucking up some of the larger ones. It's gotten jammed like only twice, but I feel like it's just super easy to take the nozzle off and clear the jams if it does get jammed. I've pretty much now been able to suck up successfully every single Lego except for um, obviously the really large ones, but 
Once again, I feel like even if it starts to pick it up and it just gets jammed at the end, it's even easier to like lift the pieces off once they kind of like get lifted a little bit by the vacuum. I feel like this is a huge time saver. I like recorded a separate clip basically to time myself and see how long it would take to pick up Legos. And it takes less than a minute to suck up like this many Legos. Just the difference between sucking them up in the vacuum and trying to even like gather them once they're already kind of neater in a pile. Uh, it takes a lot longer. Like I'm actually shocked at how much I feel like this is not only a super like fun way to clean up stuff, but definitely also will save you time. So the last thing that I wanted to check is will it clean up mini brands? <laughs> and I do have a couple larger paper things. These were from Remence that we unboxed. So obviously I don't think it can suck up paper. And I definitely feel like that's what I would use this the most for personally. Will it suck up like this cash register? I feel like this is a much larger item. Ooh. Wow. Oh, oh, there they went. Look, it's like this noodles. I forgot what this one is. Um, oh no, that's like really jammed in there. I was shocked because momentarily the Peeps package did get jammed, but then I just kind of like tapped it a couple of times and it sucked it right up. Um, Pop-Tarts box, like a lot of the larger ones that I thought it might struggle to pick up, it didn't, um, but it did get jammed. But I mean, like, look at that. How many, how many seconds did that take to clear the jam? I feel like no big deal. Let's get back to it. It picked up flavor ice. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Okay. We got another jam. It's like the noodle thing again. <gasps> That's like what keeps happening is it's picking up the noodle thing with some other ones at the same time. And that seems to be jamming it every time. I'm gonna take this one out. Obviously I didn't even notice at first that the little mini safe was in there as well as the cash register, which the uh, vacuum did suck it up towards the hose, but then obviously it just couldn't fix. It cleaned up all the mini brands, like except for the, one or two. So you would just have to determine, like, is this a quicker way to clean up things like this? Or would it just be easier to like manually pick these up just because these did get jammed so many times? Now, I feel like it would have still been really worth it to me when I was doing like the super, like when I was like unboxing like an entire store display of mini brands, like all in one video, I feel like um, for me that would have saved a lot of time, but just picking up like 20 mini brands, it might be easier to just pick it up with your good old phalanges. I wish I could think of something else to suck up in this tiny vacuum. Maybe y'all can leave a comment down below if y'all can think of another thing that you could use this vacuum for. I really like it. I give it two huge thumbs up. I feel like a lot of people would find this like a more fun and engaging way to clean up. That's it, you guys. I really enjoyed this. Once again, I didn't see how this couldn't really work. I mean, maybe it could have gotten jammed a lot. So you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments down below all of your thoughts and feelings about it. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!